Welcome to Physics Hub. Today I am going to discuss few problems on Get Physics. So as you know that I have created a playlist in the name Get Physics Preparation and in that playlist I will keep on uploading videos related to Get Physics exam. I will upload uh, those problems which are little tricky and there is some really complicated concept behind the problems so that it will so that it helps you to prepare for your gate physics exam okay so without wasting much time let's start today's video so the first video of today is from electromagnetic theory so i am reading the question a long straight wire having radius a and resistance per unit length r carries a current i the magnitude and direction of the pointing vector on the surface of the wire is okay so for this problem and you are given uh, four options okay so let's consider the wire first so suppose this is your wire long wire and it has radius what is the radius radius is a and resistance per unit length so um, r by l resistance per unit length is given to be equals to small r and what additional thing is it carries current i so suppose it is carrying current i in z direction so i am taking it z direction okay now uh, what coordinate system should be used to solve this problem definitely we should use cylindrical coordinate system because it has cylindrical symmetry so we will be talking about uh, in terms of r phi and z so these are all cylindrical coordinates look we have to choose the coordinate system by looking at the problem given if you are given some spherical object then you should use spherical polar coordinate and if you are given some normal things like in rectangular box or something then you should use rectangular coordinate system and when you are given some cylindrical object you should use cylindrical coordinate system now what will be our approach to solve this problem in this problem we are required to find out the value of the pointing vector now what what is the formula uh, of pointing vector so let's write that so formula for pointing vector s equals to 1 by mu naught into e cross b where e is a magnetic field sorry e is the electric field and b is a magnetic field now we have to calculate them separately so let's first calculate b the magnetic field so how can we calculate magnetic field we can use ampere's circuital law and using ampere's law what we can write we can take so suppose we are taking a uh, a loop circular loop like this because you have to calculate it uh, at the surface so we are taking a circle like this then what does our ampere's circular law states b dot dl equals to mu naught into i enclosed i is the current enclosing by this uh, loop so here it is i so i am writing it mu naught i now b dot dl what is dl dl is 2 pi r okay so that is equals to mu naught i right now look we can write r to be equals to a because we have to calculate the pointing vector at the surface and at the surface r equals to a so 2 pi a equals to mu naught i therefore b equals to mu naught i by 2 pi a so this is the magnitude of the magnetic field now what about the direction so if you write it in terms of vector notation then it will produce mu naught i by twice pi a into phi cap okay now in cylindrical coordinate system phi is suppose this is the wire then this will be phi okay if your uh, thumb points the direction of the current flow then the encircling fingers will represent the direction of magnetic field so in the phi direction and r what is r r is the perpendicular distance from the z axis okay so this is the magnetic field 
Now, what about the electric field? Electric field E equals to potential by length V by L into Z gap. Electric field will be directed in the Z gap direction. Now, V equals to I into R divided by L to Z gap. L is the length of the wire. Okay. Now, resistance per R by L means resistance per unit length and it is given to be equals to small r. So, this is equals to I small r Z gap. Okay. Now we have to calculate the pointing vector S. Okay. So we have calculated the values of E and B. Now we'll just replace them here. One by mu naught. E cross B equals to I R the Z cap cross B cap B equals to mu naught I by twice pi A into phi cap. Okay. So this is the pointing vector okay so we are just taking out the constant terms so mu naught i square mu naught in uh, mu naught is get cancelled uh, so i square r by twice pi a z cap cross phi cap okay so r phi z z z cap cross phi cap will produce minus r cap minus r cap because it had cyclic relation r then pi then z okay so if you take the cost product of r and pi you will get z z and r you will get pi and if you just reverse the direction then you will get a minus but look here z cross phi z phi so we are going in the opposite direction so my minus sign will occur appear so it is equal to i square r by twice pi a this is equal to minus r cap okay so it is radially so what are the options the first option is i square r by twice pi a perpendicular to the axis of the wire and pointing inwards so as i told that r a r the direction of r is determined from the perpendicular direction of the z axis so minus r means inward inward to the axis of this wire so i square r by twice pi perpendicular to the axis and pointing inward so this is the correct answer and it is matching with the first option fortunately so first option is the correct option for this problem let's discuss a problem from solid state physics so <clears throat> this is from hall effect the problem reads like this a p doped semiconductor slab carries a current i equals to 100 milliampere in a, in a magnetic field of B equals to 0.2 Tesla and so on. On measures Vy equals to 0.25 millivolt as you can see at the figure and Vx equal to 2 millivolt. The mobility of holes in the semiconductor is. Okay, so we will first write the information given in the question. First, we are given the current I equals to uh, 100 milliampere. And Vy, it is given to be equals to uh, 0.25 millivolt. Vx is given to be equals to 2 millivolt, and magnetic field B equals to 0.2 Tesla. Okay, so these are these are the things we are given, and what we are uh, we require to find out is the mobility of holes. Now, what is the formula for mobility? Mu equals to sigma by n e where sigma is the conductivity and 1 by n e as you know this is equals to the whole coefficient r h into sigma ok now there are two things which we require to find out firstly the whole coefficient and secondly the conductivity now let us discuss about the whole coefficient r h what is the formula look i is flowing along the x axis so the corresponding whole voltage will be induced perpendicular to it means along y axis. So, the formula for this whole coefficient is R h equals to V y into T divided by current flowing in the direction. So, I x into B. Okay. So, this is the formula for whole coefficient. Fine. Now, what about sigma? Sigma is the conductivity. So, it is reciprocal of the resistivity rho is the resistivity now we have to write rho in terms of r l and a 
Now, as you know, R equals to rho into L by K, where rho is the resistivity, L is the length, K is the area. So, 1 by rho equals to L by R into A. Fine. Now, what we will do? We will just put the values here. But before that, what we can write? Okay, so, we are getting this. Now, we can replace R means resistance means Vx V by I, Vx by Ix and A is the cross-sectional area means W into T. Okay? So, L into Ix by Vx into W into T. So, we got sigma and Rh. So, we will just put them in this expression. So, Vy into T by Ix into B into sigma equals to L into Ix by Vx into omega into T. Now, we will just check what, what terms are getting cancelled. So, Ix and Ix both are cancelled from the denominator and numerator and T as well. So, what remain Vy by Vx into L by B W into Vx. Okay. We have taken already Vx. So, now all the quantities are known to us. So, Vy is given to be 0.25 millivolt and Vx is given to be 2 millivolt. So, millivolt millivolt get cancelled from the numerator and denominator. Now, L length was given to be 10 millimeter, I think. Yes, 10 millimeter. So, into 10. B is given to be 0 0.2 Tesla. And width, 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 what is the width? Width is 4 millimeter. Okay. Now, if you calculate this, you will get 1.5625. I have calculated it, you calculate it by yourself. And after two decimal, we can write 1.56. So, this is the mobility of the holes and what will be the unit meter square? Volt inverse, second inverse. Okay. So, this is the mobility of the holes in this problem. So, this is all for today guys. Hope you will like the video. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumb up. And if you are a new visitor of this channel, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Okay, and if you want if you want different types of videos, you can check our playlist section. There I have divided the videos into different playlists so that you can easily select and uh, watch videos as per your choice. And finally, what I said, thanks for watching.